Hello and welcome everybody. Today I want to show you a bit of a secret about solar in space engineers, something that few people talk about. And that's that if you choose your location carefully, you can have sun on your solar panels 24 seven with zero interruptions. So no darkness on your panels ever. So you just need to know where the right spots are and how to make that happen. So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples of this in action and I'll break it all down. So here we are on Earth. It's a beautiful day here on a pole. And we can see that even this panel that isn't aligned is getting full power. And that's one of the great advantages of these spots is that even though it's not aligned, you're still gonna get good power. That can help out a lot when you're first starting. We'll jump over here to Europa and we can see we're getting power here and on Mars getting power here and maybe most importantly the moon so uh, on the moon it can be very difficult to get started without consistent power and if you know where to start you can have power the whole time very easily and not have to rely on other methods so very helpful to know the spots so let's go back here this is just a space station i made and back to our asteroid base here so the secret to unlimited power is that the sun should rotate left to right or right to left around the pole of your solar panels and so the way to figure that out is, first of all, to grab the GPSs that I put in the description below. I have at least one for every planet and every moon to help you get started. But they actually line up with the poles of the planets and moons. So uh, as it should be, uh, naturally, the poles of all of them match up with how you'd want your pole <laughs> set up for solar and those are the best spots so if you go to any of the poles you can find those spots and look for a nice high place with less mountains around it if possible and you may need to place up a little higher potentially for planets as well um, but you can definitely get your tracking to match the sun the entire time and that works really everywhere. Um, so any planet or moon that was placed by Keen is lined up in that alignment. Now, if you have your own planets or you're trying to line up on an asteroid or a space station, you'll need to do the alignment yourself. And so there's a couple ways to do that. Um, first and the worst would be trying to do it with your eyes so you line up your cross here and very slowly watch the sun move in a direction and try to roll to match that um, it's much easier to do as luca said in a recent video with your camera so if you put a camera on your ship you can move that camera and then you can zoom in which makes the movement much more distinct and then what we want to do is make sure that it's only going left to right or right to left. So I'm going to roll to the right. I'm going to keep rolling. Roll into the right a little more. Getting close. Roll into the right. Very close. Roll to the right a little more. A little more. Ooh, maybe too much. No, that's probably good enough, I would say. And I could uh, keep adjusting to get a little closer, but that's pretty good. So you just line up your ship by rolling to the right or left until it only goes to the left or the right. And then now that the ship is aligned, I could build a station off of it, or I could just use it as a guide to set up my uh, solar above or below, like I did here. And this is pretty close to that matching up. And then finally, if you're uh, in admin mode or don't mind moving the sun on your own, you can actually just wiggle the sun back and forth to get an idea of what its path will be. You can actually follow the whole path, which is very nice. 
Uh, but again, that isn't necessary. I think that camera method is pretty solid to use. And generally, you might be setting up near a pole anyways. So one thing to keep in mind, so this example is actually a little uh, obstructed. So if I move this sign over to oh, loop it all the way around here, there we go. Um, it's actually going to be obstructed here very soon as it passes behind the planet. And so if I wanted to be sure that I didn't have any interruptions, I would want to move uh, above the North Pole or below the South Pole. And I could be right next to the planet and not have any obstructions. So this goes for anywhere. My other option is I could travel out further in the solar system and to where the planet was no longer uh, obstructing the sun for me. So having this knowledge is really helpful sometimes, um, especially if you're starting on the moon or just setting up a space station. You want to have good power. I've been using this on the Skyblock playthrough as well. Um, it's just uh, super nice to know that you don't have to experience the darkness of solar very often. So if you have any questions or comments, please hit me up below or on Discord. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.